morning we're looking at example 3 out of section 2.1 market equilibrium problems we're going to start with data once we have the data we'd like to find the trend lines for the supply and demand prices find the equations that go with the trend lines find the equilibrium price and find sales when the prices are either 640 or 660 we start by taking the data out of the problem and just putting it in Excel just as values. Our initial step is to find equations. We'd like to insert a scatter plot. We have the scatter plot. I'm going to want to add my trend lines. I'll add the trend line. I'd like it to be linear. I'd like to display the equation on the chart. I similarly want to find the trend line for the demand price. And I'd like to display the equation on a chart. And as my standard operating procedure, I'm going to take my two equations, make them a size that makes it easier to read. going to take the equation with the downward slope, copy, that's the demand price. I'm going to paste it in. X is going to be times my X value for this row is A2. Going to copy down. Notice that I'm getting very close to the values for the demand price. I'm going to do the same thing with supply price. Copy, paste into projected supply price. I need this to be equal. I want to translate into Excel. So X is times A2 again. This gives me the demand price, I mean the projected supply price. The difference I'm going to be interested in is equal to the supply price minus the demand price. I'm going to go one extra row down because I'm going to see somewhere around here, around a thousand, is where they intersect. But rather than simply guessing, I'm going to go to my data. What if analysis? Goal seek, I'd like F9 to have value 0 by changing the X value, which is A9. And so we have an equilibrium at 955. I'd like to go a bit further now. I wanted to know what happens to get prices if I want to sell at 6.4 or 6.6, .6, so either a bit above or a bit below the market price. If I want this to be 6.4, I'm going to do what if analysis, goal seek, and say I'd like D10 in this case to be 6.4 by changing A10. So to sell at 6.4, I can sell 924. I want to look at the demand price. I'm going to do the same thing. Goal seek, make this 6.4 by changing A11. And so if the price was 6.4, I have 1,055 that want to buy, but only 924 that want to sell at that price. Since I need both buyers and sellers, I'm only going to sell 924 if my price is 6.4. I'm going to repeat the same process except do 6.6. .6. I'd like to go to 6.6 .6 by changing A12. And I'd like to look at how many people want to buy at 6.6. .6. A13, and so in this case at 
I could sell nine, I could supply 987, but only 855 are going to get bought. So if we're off the equilibrium, we have a difference between how many people want to buy, how many people want to sell, and how many people want to buy. Either one could be higher, but we're only going to make sales when we both have a buyer and seller. So if my price is too low, some of the buyers are going to go away unhappy because they can't buy. The sellers all go away happy. If my price is too high, some of the sellers are going to go away unhappy because more people want to sell than want to buy. Thank you.